Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this thumbnail. So first off, when you guys open up Photoshop, what you guys want to do is you want to make a an image that is 1280 pixels wide and 720 pixels tall with 72 resolution and 8-bit RGB with transparent background. Then all you're going to have to do is hit create and now you're ready to go. So what you guys are going to want to do is find a, an image or background that you want to use as the background of your thumbnail. You can find it on Google or wherever you want to find it. I have mine here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into here. And I'm going to resize it. Make sure you guys get the largest image possible for the best quality. Resize it up here. Okay, that looks fine. So once you guys have your image pasted in here or for whatever you guys want to use as your background, you're going to want to put a gradient overlay on this so that the elements that you really want to contrast from the background, like the text and the character image, really pop out like you want them to. So these are the colors that I'm going to be using. You can really just take these hex codes and copy and paste them into the color here and that's how you get them. But I'm just going to be using this darkest one. So you're going to take that hex code and you're going to double click on your background image. You're going to go to gradient overlay, double click on this, take this and you put this color here, take this color and make it the hex code that you copied, hit OK. And then this is just pure black. Um, then you just hit OK. You can either reverse this, I'll let you see. This is unreversed, this is reversed. You can do whatever you want. I prefer the unreversed, that way it's a little darker in the areas where you want the image to pop out and it's lighter behind the text. And then just make sure you guys have all of these the same settings on. You can change whatever you want. You know, you can change the angle to whatever, but I just have it set to this and the opacity is different depending on how much you want um, the small textures in the background to pop. So once you have that, you're just gonna click okay. And then you're going to make a duplicate of this layer underneath and just hide that for now. And what you're going to do with this one is you're going to take your magic wand tool. You can just hit W to get this as well. You're going to click on one of these big red shapes, I guess. And then you shift and click on the other one while holding shift. Then you're going to right click this. You're going to go to layer via cut. You're going to control T and then you're just going to move these over here and then get them to a good size that you want them at. That looks about good. So once you have cut this shape out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the layer that we copied earlier and make sure you show it so that it's enabled. You're gonna hold Control T to transform it and you're gonna make this bigger. Uh, you can hold Alt and Shift at the same time to enlarge images all at once. And then you're just gonna drag it to a different portion so that you get a different part of the texture showing. Now you're gonna go to this layer with the with the soft eraser, pretty small size, and then you're just gonna go over this line so that you don't have the stroke showing. And you can have the stroke showing if you want, it's just personal preference. Some people think it looks cool, some would rather have it without. It's really up to you. So I'm just gonna finish erasing this. And now once that's done, we really don't have to worry about them since they both have gradient masks on them. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to this layer that we just created. You're going to go to effects. You're going to go to gradient overlay and turn that off so it's like as bright as possible. Then you're going to want to go to outer glow and make sure you guys have all of these settings applied. Make sure that this color is basically the color that we had here but you're just finding like a darker version of it. So you're gonna go there and find it. So I, I just chose that. Once you have all these settings applied, you're gonna go to inner glow and apply these same settings. And it's the same color that was used on the other um, outer glow, but you're just using it on the inner glow. And you can change these up to how much glow you want, or if you don't want any glow at all, you can also throw a drop shadow on this if you want, but I prefer not to. 
so once you guys have your uh glow all set up on this little shape i don't really know what it's called it's like a v for the valorant logo you're gonna want to find the character you want to use so i'm just gonna pull one out of this assets pack here again uh i can like put this in the description if you guys want if we get to like 10 likes i'll throw this colors uh psd and the valorant resources psd if we get 10 likes and if we get 15 i'll throw the psd for the thumbnail in there as well so all you guys have to do is change the text but you're gonna take this and you're gonna put this onto your image you're gonna hold ctrl t to transform it you're gonna bring down the size and then you're just gonna find a size that works for you i think that looks about good so once you have this in here i recommend first going to here making a new layer and then you're just going to to add the little rectangles that go around the thumbnail and just make it pop more you can like make a selection at the top you can make it however wide you want but i just made mine uh this wide but once you make the selection all you do is right click it fill go to color here and then you're gonna paste in the hex code that came from the other like valorant colors copy so whatever hex code you put in that's that's what it's gonna put as your color so once you have this all you have to do is um control j to duplicate it and then hit control t again drag it to the bottom then you're gonna hit control j again and uh rotate this one you uh to rotate 45 degrees by the way you just hold down shift and move your mouse outside of the transform section you're gonna rotate it 90 degrees and then just line it up along the side and then all you have to do is duplicate it one more time and drag that all the way over to the other side also if you guys don't want as many layers you can just hold shift or you click on the bottom one hold shift and then click on the top one and then just hit Control e to merge them all that way it all becomes one layer but if you guys don't want to do that then you just hit undo that and then you're ready to go with this one so now you guys can begin doing your text you're just going to go to the text tool and for this color again you're just going to copy the hex code from the other page um to select it just to this off white color so it's not all the way white and then the font i'm using is tungsten bold for this one doesn't really matter your font size because you can transform it but these are the properties that i'm going to be using these could change later but i think we're, we're going to be okay for now so you just type in whatever your text wants to be like whatever you guys know what your title to say obviously so i'm just gonna say thumbnail for this purpose and then control t i'm gonna hold alt and shift at the same time to enlarge this to a size that you want to you can always change this size at any time so it's okay i don't want this touching the edge there so that looks about good for me once you have this set up all you have to do is double click on this layer wait for the layer style properties to show up you're going to go to drop shadow and the settings we're going to use for this is 20 percent distance is nine spread is six size is seven and then just normal and black so we have that set up now we're ready to go to our new text layer right here new layer okay so for this text you just click and then the font i'm going to be using is unisans and then i'm going to be using heavy caps here you can see all the different variations of the font i have but i'm just going to be using heavy for these purposes make sure your guys's character is the same as this because uh if you go to these characters it's just gonna say 95 percent so you want to make sure we change that to 100 percent this can just be found by clicking a here if you don't have it you just go to window and then click on character and then you'll have this box once you have that you're just gonna adjust it to the appropriate size that you need so you're gonna enlarge this and then you're gonna pull it to a reasonable size for whatever you want 
I'm just gonna make mine this big and slide it down. I want it about this big. We're gonna throw a white, um, like tr really thick drop shadow underneath this just to make this pop more. So I think that looks about good for now. Another thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna hold Alt and move this up. Control J also does the same thing, so you can probably just do that. I'm gonna drag this down to there for now, and then you're gonna ch take text, change this to whatever you want it to be. So this could be gameplay or whatever you want it to be, your channel name. It could be whatever. This doesn't look centered, but I think it might be. Drag this up again to like there. Looks good. And then we're gonna go to Valorant. We're gonna hold Alt, or you can just do Control J, but I'm gonna hold Alt and move this down to make a duplicate. Make sure this one is underneath. Double click on this layer. To open the layer style properties, you're gonna go to color overlay. Then you're gonna throw the same off-white color on that can be found on the Valorant Colors PSD. Hit OK once you have this color overlay, just put V on your keyboard or go to the move tool. Press the down arrow on your keyboard twice. I'll do three times to move this so that it has a bit of a highlight, white highlight on it. And then you're going to do the same thing for the tutorial text. You're going to make a duplicate of this so that it's underneath. You're going to double click on this copy. And you're going to go to color overlay and make it the same off white and hit OK. One thing that you guys might want to do is go to the Valorant copy text since it's below. You take this one and you can apply a drop shadow to this if it goes on top of your glow. If you guys want that text to be that big, if it goes on top of your glow, you can change that. So really quick, I'll show you guys how to do that. You go to effects and then you go to drop shadow. And then just make sure you guys have these same settings on. You can have that and you hit OK. It just applies a small drop shadow so that if I were to move this over here, um, it would th this red would stand out from this red easier. Okay, so take your tutorial copy and hit the V tool or just hit the move arrow and move it down two or three times depending on what you want. I think that looks fine. Now we're almost done. Uh, you guys can take this if you want. It's just a little small detail. You don't have to, but I'm going to go to my resource bag and I'm going to pull up this image. This is just this image, but I cut this part out to make it smaller so it fits with the layer mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it in here. Bring this to the top layer so I know where it is. Scale this way down. I have these assets really big so that they're a good quality for when I put them into here move this you can position to this position this wherever make it the appropriate size i don't want this taking up too much space just something to make my thumbnail look different from other people's thumbnails bring this down just using my arrow keys i'm gonna move that back up one there we go that looks good and now all we have to do is hit Control shift e on your keyboard to make this all into one layer you're going to go to filter and then down to camera raw filter here and you can change all of these settings around you can click on these to go to different sections but basically for this thumbnail what i have these set to is the temperature to negative seven the tint to plus four and then if you scroll down here, I have the texture to plus 25. I think it makes the character stand out a lot more. You can also do thumbnails with like super high clarity if you want. That is a style where people just like turn this all the way up. If that's your thing, then go ahead and do that. But I'm just going to set this to plus 8 for now. D Haze is going to go to plus 4. That looks weird. Vibrance, I have this set to plus 3. And for the saturation, I have this also set to plus three. Oh, uh, you guys can mess with the tone curve if you want. Uh, basically, you just drag these lines to up or down, and then usually you, you don't have that many tone curves. You just have like one here and like maybe one there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to detail and for sharpening. 
this just only does little adjustments and then I just drag this down just a bit to 0.9 detail I like this to have this higher so like 37 ish that should be good then next thing I'm going to go to is effects oh also one thing that I'm gonna show you guys is if you go to lens corrections you can change the amount of distortion so if you want to have like thumbnails that go like this if this is your thing to have it like bulge out or sometimes you'll, you'll see not as, as often but you'll see thumbnails that are like this and they like curve in a bit but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to effects grain i'm gonna raise this to three and then i'm just gonna keep with the default settings and that's all i really want for now so i'm just gonna hit okay and you can see the transformation from this to when it changes to the camera raw filter and that's the whole tutorial guys thank you guys for checking out this video make sure to subscribe turn on notifications follow me on twitter at zawa hq also my instagram and my behance will be linked in the description below make sure to check out the editor of this video jenga his links will be in the description as well and i hope you guys tune into the next one thank you